funny. You can see that other buddy's face like freaking out. Like, oh heck no, you are not about to land on me. Okay, so this one's number three, and this one's from the Bunny Cafe in Vancouver. I actually went to leave too early that day. I decided, you know what, I'm going to leave a little. I think I had somewhere to go that day. I said, you know, I need to leave early. I think I left about 40 minutes, half an hour early. I've turned down a certain side street, and he's about me 10 meters away. And he's obviously a bright white rabbit. Right and I can just see like a bright white pool in the middle of the road. That can't be like a cat or a dog or anything like that. And as I got closer and closer, I established that it's a rabbit. And that's how we end up running up to walk him and then I end up picking him up. Take them home and now it's take for pain. Hi Aaron, thank you so 
much for joining me today on Len and the Bunny. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I first came across your videos because my cousin always sends me cute bunny TikToks. I think it was like the like the morning routine video or something that she had sent me. And I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Tell me the story of how you found Mr. Peary. I was on my way home from gym, and, and funny enough, I told people this all the time, so it was deals. I actually wanted to leave gym early that day, and I decided, you know what, I'm not really feeling it. But I think I had somewhere to go that day. I said, you know what, I need to leave early. I think I left about 40 minutes, half an hour early. So I took a home. I turned down a set of side street, and he's about maybe 10 meters away. Hello. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. um, I've been to make some updates to your support yeah. plan, which is about you, isn't it? What is updates? Just, just gone through and added some bits from your last day, like bits that we found out about you, about how to support you. Do you want me to bring it down for you to have a read through, see if you're happy with it? Um. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, and can I read it in your living room? Yeah, you can. You can come up to the living room. I'll get it out, shall I? Yeah. And then you can have a read if you're happy with it. I'll get you to sign it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And because you're good at reading, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. I'm Kelly Sharp. Yeah. Okay. And Lucy. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just Kelly Sharp. Um, Lucy. Every night. Yeah. Um, every night, um, 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 I, I make a drink to help me to go to sleep. Chamomile yeah. tea, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's alright. What are you doing, unpacking? Uh, yeah. Okay. You use the wardrobe? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, well I'll get your support plan out and when you're ready, you can come down and you can have a read, can't you? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I haven't seen you this for one long. Yeah, a little while, isn't it? All that time you stayed and then you've had a break and then you come back. Yeah, um, um Lucy, I haven't been to some next in August. I know you haven't. August is very busy. It was a different place for the on the internet. And there really wasn't anyone making funny content. There were one or two other YouTube channels. It wasn't like satisfactory to me. Like I just I wanted more out of funny content. I wanted to see that human and animal interaction, that bond, bunny that really strong bond that occurs. What do you think attracts people mm. so much to your videos? I think the main thing that um, attracts people to my videos is the two different worlds collide. I get told a lot in the comments, I get told a lot at the end that you do not look like a stereotypical bunny. Whatever that means, I don't know. Um, but that's what I get told a lot the time. I that's how people find bunny, can't be a rabbit, and all these type of comments. When they come on my page, you see a girl from East Bandit that's loving, kissing this rabbit, that crazy. Sort of like, wait, there must be like a, a spin to this. What exactly is this? I think that's the main thing. Tell me a little bit about Mr. Peary. What kind of personality does he have? What do you love about him? The main thing I love about Mr. Peary is that, and I know a lot of people probably say this, but it reminds me of myself here, funny enough. Um, they do say that you start looking like your, your pet or vice versa. And I think we've got to that stage now where we can look in the mirrors and it's the same person. You imagine myself the way you act is very, very cheap. Very cheap. You've got a third rabbit, so I'm quite cheap, yeah. But his cheap is good. From what I've observed in the UK, there's still a very prevalent outdoor bunny culture. How did you sort of come to decide, you know what, I'm going to keep my bunny indoors, but not just keep him indoors. I'm going to free run him indoors. So the main reason why I didn't want to keep it indoors and free running it indoors was because I did have a rabbit about, we look at about 12 years ago, I'm 22 now, I had a rabbit and she was kept outside, this was during the summer, so she'd be outside, she had like a, a fairly big size touch, I'm not sure how to measure how big it was, it was very big for a and stuff like that, but a fox ended up coming to her cage years ago scared of some part. When I didn't miss the final, I said to my mom, okay, keep him in the spare room. 
She's like, no, no, I think it's in your <laughs> So I was sort of like, all right, but that's, you know, it's, it's not too bad. So then he did initially have like a, a hutch in my room that I've now got rid of. And now he literally just has his little box, his little castle, and he, run, he runs around the whole house. That's, that's his little stuff. I mean, obviously, find out a few tips about like, computers or something, other pages, find out the best setting to have other things to have them free roam. They're not cage animals, they're not hutch animals. He literally owns my head. That's no longer my head. That's his head. He sleeps in there, but we don't know. I have a bunny, Lenny. Have you ever seen our videos before? Yeah, so essentially, when I first found my um, attempts on YouTube, how to dot dot dot, um, Lenny the Bunny page, which was the first thing that came up. I had obviously all the video on how to, how to, how to, I just sort of went through all of them to get a few pointers. So yeah, I have it. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That makes me really happy, actually, that, you know, because I started the channel like six years ago, and I'm sure all the videos that you watch are like six years old at this point, but they still help people to this day with some of that older content that I first put out. How does Mr. Peary react with all these videos? He plays along quite nicely in these videos. He's a great actor. <laughs> Does he love it? Yeah, Mr. Perry, he loves, he loves the acting side of it. Because of how my busy schedule, because everyone has a busy schedule, filming's really hard at the time. That's why even now my schedule just got a lot crazier. Those like, you know, full production, day in the life videos, I can't be putting out every single day. I know it looks like it's easy and he interacts and he, like sometimes he's driven and heading. One tip might take about an hour to do. And that's like him just hopping off the bed. He might hop off at a different angle. He might just want to hop off and just sit there. Like, he's he got, he got his own agenda at times. The majority of the time it's okay, but it can get very, very stressful at other times. But I, I'd like to say What essentially do you want to communicate to people through your videos? What is the message that you want out there about bunnies? <laughs> the main message I want to put out there about bunnies is uh, I feel like they're under pets. I really feel like they're under pets. People don't scream out dogs and cats and stuff like that. But I really do think bunnies are very, very under pets. They're a lot of work. They're not easy to look after at all. But I think with the right education and the right research, they can definitely be amazing pets. <laughs> I 
I've never really dealt with slave-legged bunnies before. So, you, so they were born this way. They didn't become slave all the time, right? They were born this way. And I don't know why. Ready, Lenny? Ready for some house guests? So we're setting them up in the bathroom, right? Oh, well, like Do they need to? They need to be. In a, See how it gets really stuck on here, and I don't want to pull it off and hurt him too much. So I'll pull some off, but the so rest I'm going to have to why wash. Why is it because they can't clean them? Yeah, this is the cecotropes, and they're not eating. They're cecotropes, which is not a good thing. There we go. And it looks like, why are they bald around there? Um, partially um, because I've had to cut the hair uh, because it was so bad. When I first got this bunny, he had poop hard poop stuff all over his entire bottom. He was literally peeing into the poop and it was going back and got an infection in the genitals. And so I had to sh almost like shave him to get all of that off of him initially. Hello, Sophia. People want to fast Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. Good. Long time no see. Yeah. How are you? Uh, I... You bought Erica? Yeah. She's come to stay? Yeah. yeah. Her hair's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and do you remember Erica? I do remember Erica. I do. Never forget Erica. Um, you remember Erica forever? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, okay. <laughs> See you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Come and get a drink if you want. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Are you ready? As you can see, they have done a number on this place already. They've pooped everywhere. We took out the litter box because it's just going to be easier for them to not have one. And I'm going to give them some more pellets because they're still babies. So I'm just sprinkling that right there for them. So I did some research as well, and I read that they feel really comfortable if they have like a little pillow for support. So I'm going to go see if I can find little pillows for them.
stuff like matted on their fur and their hind legs and their bum. And if you let this get out of hand, it can be very painful for them. It can become very unsanitary. And then it'll be even more difficult to remove down the line. So you wanna do this daily with special needs buds. Now, as you know, bunnies should not be bathed or submerged in water. But when it comes to bunnies like this who have no use of their legs, basically, they cannot clean themselves. They're not flexible enough, etc. They need help, and so in this scenario, um, it is crucial to clean them up. So I'm gonna do that. You can see the poop just like caked on them. Okay, so this is what they look like today. It's messy up in here. We've got to get these babies clean before I take them back to Vicky. Yep, you are really dirty. Okay. Yeah, it's no fun. It's no fun. But look, nice and clean now. Nice and clean. Okay, so these guys are going back to Vicky today. They are being handed off to Bunny Bunch. Um, this is a different rescue in the LA area, and they actually specialize in splayed like bunnies over there. So this is such a miracle for them to have found this home for the time being at least. So in terms of splayed legs, it is a deformity, a physical disability, whatever you want to call it. And basically what splayed legs are when the bunny lacks connective tissue, and so they have an inability to adopt their legs, which then results in the legs being extended either to a 45 or 90 degree angle outward. Basically, there's one of two ways that a buddy can acquire this, and it's either genetic, so hereditary through the parents, or they can develop it later on in their adult life if they don't have access to proper flooring, or housing where their limbs are not allowed to develop properly. Vicky does believe this to be genetic. Splayed leg bunnies can be potty trained. They just see a low-sided litter box. Obviously, these babies are not potty trained because they're only a month old, and so they haven't even been spayed or neutered yet. The, the priority with them currently was just getting them out of that really bad situation that they were in because it was a matter of life and death basically. So now hopefully in their future home they can be potty trained, they can get spayed and neutered, and go on to live again fairly normal lives. Now is there a cure for splayed legs? Currently no. Treatments is basically supportive care at home and so you know providing them with little blankies and pillows and everything that they need. Sometimes they can get braces made. I don't think the wheelchairs really apply to this situation because that's more for 
interesting ones, and it would be quite difficult for them to navigate that. But I thought that this video was really important to make because I've never really made a video on, you know, special needs buddies and the importance of taking care of them because there's so many out there that cannot find homes. Like, they are just stuck in the shelters, stuck at the rescues. Nobody wants to adopt them, and it's really, really sad. And as you can see, they can live, you know, fairly healthy and normal lives. I mean, these guys do not even know that they have this condition. This is just normal to them. And, you know, they're not in pain or anything. They've just gone about living their lives the way that they should. It's, it's really beautiful. They don't know that they're different. They get around just fine kind of doing the doggy paddle. At the shelters, bunnies like these get put down. They get euthanized, and it's really, really sad. So I really, really want to encourage you guys to look into adopting or fostering special needs buns. You know, their diet isn't any different. They, they're doing just fine. They're doing just fine. I feel really grateful that I was able to foster them because I learned so much during my time with them. And Lennon's been really good. She's been so sweet and curious. Like, she doesn't want to go near them, actually. She's very... Um, almost coy, I would say. They don't have any hormones right now, so she doesn't feel territorial or anything. I think she's just a little confused. But anyway, guys, um, please donate. Um, any little amount helps for the rescues. And I will link all the information about these guys below. I'll include information about splayed legs. And yeah, hopefully you guys are able to learn a little bit through this too.